Hello. Hello and welcome back to UK NBA testing you. What episode is this? This is episode 17. Excellent. Part 3. And what's coming up? We are going to look at some fantasy big three, so don't criticise us and say these can't physically happen. And no, they can't physically happen. We know that. We're not, We're not stupid. stupid. Well, maybe a little bit, but... Yeah, you are. We're uh, in fantasy world at the moment, and we're we just going to make we, up. We, we, we're not on Earth, we've gone to Mars. Yeah. Um, please don't say that LeBron can't play with Derrick Rose, because we know that. Don't say that the Cleveland's couldn't afford the cap space, we also know yeah. that. Uh, don't say Miami are better than Cleveland, because that's not true. And we all know uh, that. So let's do the fantasy uh, yeah. big three. So first of all, I want to point out as well, put some at the bottom, put your fantasy big three, because it's not as easy as people think, because you generally have to think about um, the type of players they are. You can't have three point guards, you can't have Derrick Rose. You couldn't have D Rose, or, uh, Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving in the same team. That yeah, it wouldn't work. make any sense, would it? Uh, you've got to have players that play different kind of roles on teams, so you have to think about that. So it's pretty hard to think about you know the best team so i've come up with a few we've come up with a few here we had a big discussion about this yeah, massive discussion we got around a big table yeah ordered some food yeah got some beers out and we had a it was good for that was a good it? discussion about a plenty of um potentially big three so we've got a few here lined up for you i'm sure there's plenty more that you'll mm. know and you'll be able to tell us all about so please put them at the bottom we'll read them out next week so first of all, I thought this one was um, one of the best ones. We had Blake Griffin, Russell Westbrook, and Demarcus Cousins. Yeah, that's 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 a dream, isn't it? Yeah. Um, of course, uh, three different styles. Exactly. Um, three players with fantastic technical and mm-hmm. tactical ability. Yeah. Um, I would love to see Griffin linking up with Westbrook. Oh, yeah. I, I fancy that more than Westbrook and Durant. I know yeah, you might not. Uh, it's a um, fantastic concur, combination but... because um, Blake Griffin's more of a player that doesn't need the ball as much as uh, Kevin Durant. Uh, Russell Westbrook uh, has similarities with Chris Paul in terms of being able to pass uh, the ball. And Demarcus Cousins is um, basically uh, not so great on defensive end, he can be intimidating. But a brilliant centre who I could imagine Russell Westbrook pulling out alley oops up to all oh, not long. I know it'd be brilliant. And wouldn't it? you know, he could find you in the paint. Um a good presence in the paint. So three quality scorers as well there. That's gonna get you sixty points a game between them three. It certainly Easily. is. Easily. Um so the next one. Yeah, the next one is uh, interesting as well. It's James Harden, DeAndre Jordan and Quire Leonard. Yeah, um I like this one because I think James Harden has been neglected with um D- Dwight Howard being out so long this season. Uh, it really does deserve that kind of centre that's going to be there every game. And considering DeAndre Jordan is on the longest run uh, in current NBA of games played, mm. then uh, it's only right that he would be the player to go with James Harden again, the alley You reckon that um, Jordan and Leonard would work? I think so, yeah. I think uh, Coy Leonard's a type of player, again, doesn't need the ball that much. Uh, space out, uh, three-point shooter. Uh, and as well, I like this as well, because James Harden's quite a good defender. Mm, absolutely, yeah. Uh, DeAndre Jordan's the best rebounder in the league and best more of an shot. offensive uh, yeah. t- tight-minded player. And Kawhi Leonard is obviously one of the best defenders, if not the best perimeter defender in the league. So okay. imagine after a defensive combination, mm. plus, again, you've got a lot of score in there. James Harden and DeAndre Jordan. Well, fast break. you've spoken, haven't you? Uh, the next one, CP3, of course, yeah. Chris Paul, Carmelo Anthony, and Mark Gasol. Yeah, again, another point guard, small forward, power forward combination here. Again, I like this because Carmelo Anthony deserves a... Um, he deserves more recognition yeah. than he gets. Simply, he plays for yeah. the Knicks, though, doesn't he? We yeah. all know how you feel about well, the Knicks. He deserves good teammates. And Chris Paul, at point guard, is the best point guard in the league. Um, despite, obviously, Stephen Curry having a better year. Uh, that's like saying Stephen Curry's had a better year than LeBron, so he's better than LeBron. LeBron's still the best in the league. And it's the same with Chris Paul. He's still the best point guard in the league. Uh, Carmelo Anthony... It's just not, you, you remember the saying, the form is temporary, class is exactly, permanent. Exactly, so. exactly. And um, one thing Chris Paul has, he doesn't need the ball all the time. No, absolutely. Uh, he can make brilliant passes, so he'd find Carmelo Anthony open all day long. Mm. And then Marc Gasol, again, I'd love to see this. Pick a role, Chris Paul, Marc Gasol. It'd be fantastic. You'd either have Chris. Let's make Paul. it happen. Let's make it Let's happen. Let's make this happen. I'd love to see this happen. 
You know, I mean, um, um, you, you, I mean, you and Carmelo Anthony go way back. Yes, I mean, just give him <laughs> I a mean, ring. You, you never know. You, you do never know. I mean, obviously, the Knicks have nothing whatsoever to offer. But to I, the, I'm uh, pretty sure that the Knicks won't be able to get uh, no. Gasol or Paul. Paul. Uh, the next one, Steph Curry, Bosch, and uh, DeAndre Jordan appears once more. Yeah, again, DeAndre Jordan's going to be a recurring theme here for a lot of teams. Yeah, I'm thinking you're a fan of him, aren't you? I am a massive fan. I think he can play in so many systems. It works perfectly. The thing is with Jordan is we're in the era right now where we've got the best point guards in the league yeah, absolutely. Uh, ever in the history of NBA. Um, and John Ray Jordan works so well with point mm. guards. Uh, Chris Bosch is obviously a stretch four. Uh, you could imagine that putting Chris Bosch out there on the wing, hitting three pointers. Uh, and uh, long twos, you've got DeAndre Jordan in the paint and Steph Curry doing whatever he wants to do, really. Uh, so, again, it's another combination where you've got a player who can play pick and rolls. Like, uh, and again, I don't think Curry's really got that superstar centre, has he? Like, no. Like other point guards do have. So, I think that would be interesting to see Steph Curry with that. Okay, the next one's uh, CP3, Kevin Durant, and. D H. Yeah, Toys Howard. Um, again, this is considering. He's obsessed with CP3 and linking yeah. um, DeAndre Jordan. Again, aren't you, CP3, it? I think is the best point guard in the league. He matches with any player in the league whatsoever. And again, I like this combination more than actually like Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant because Westbrook and Durant I think need the ball a lot. Yeah. Uh, Chris Paul doesn't need the ball that much. Uh, he doesn't have as many touches as most point guards. He doesn't need to. Uh, and I think him and Durant would be very effective. Uh, and then Dwight Howard would be fantastic on the fast break with M3. It would be another great combination. I like that. Mm. Um, the next one is uh, Anthony Davis, John Wall and Clay Thompson. Talk yourself around that yeah, one because that's um, curious. It's a less um, obvious one, but I'd love to see Anthony Davis with um, another top point guard. I think Tyreek Evans is absolutely fantastic, mm. but I don't think he's a natural point guard. Uh, John Wall's a great passer of the ball. He's one of the few point guards out there now that likes to pass more than he does shoot. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think he would give a lot of opportunities to Anthony Davis. And Clay Thompson, again, can develop that role. Can still the, remember that one game when he scored. Like, was 30, it 40, 37? 37 in the one Blimey. quarter. In the one quarter. Um, so he's a light up shooter. That'll go down in the memory. I mean, you've got players there. You've got John Wall, who can, who's fast as lightning. Uh, Anthony Davis, who's developing all over the field, he'd be the star man. And then Clay Thompson, who can hit mm. them three pointers when he's made open. Yeah. Uh, by these two guys. So. And now you're talking my language with the next one. <laughs> Your next one, yeah. LeBron like, James, my man, Ola Depot. Do you know what? Yeah. Ola Depot, oh, what a player. Yeah. And uh, DeAndre Jordan. What? Stop sticking him out. Is he Jordan. paying you or something? DeAndre Jordan, <laughs> um, I think he's one of the best centres in the league. No, I wouldn't have even uh, Do you know what? With that, I wouldn't have even thought you liked it. I'm a massive fan. And you know why I like this so much? Um, think of Miami Heat. He's got Heat. Oladipo in it. Think of Miami Heat. LeBron James, fast break, dunks. Um, here, yeah, this but is, they don't play, it's come to a real team Yes, now. but they don't play as many fast breaks as... Um, but even when they do, LeBron James is always at the forefront of it. Uh, LeBron, Victor Oladipo, DeAndre Jordan, three of the best players in the open court. Shouldn't all the deep be at somewhere better than Magic? I mean. Yeah, they should. And, and this is a future one because obviously all the deep not a superstar yet, but no. he's a superstar in the making. Yeah, let, let me say that uh, he will be some player. Yeah, and obviously this one resembles things. Obviously, DeAndre Jordan's not the same player as Chris Bosch, but all the and Dwayne Wade. Yeah. Obviously, it's a younger version of Dwayne Wade, really, in all the deep energy. The flashy style. The slam dunks. Yeah, slam dunks, yeah. Um, dunks. And finally, you've gone through Joachim Noah, Quire Leonard, and oh, DeAndre. No, not DeAndre Jordan, but it oh. is CP3. Yeah, again, I love this combination. Uh, it's the probably the best defensive combination in the league. I don't think you would be scoring more than 90 points a game against this team. Uh, Joachim Noah, pro possibly the best passing centre in many many years yeah uh, fantastic he can average about five or six assists mm. a game which is ridiculous for a centre 
Uh, Kawhi Leonard, the best perimeter defender in the league. Absolutely, yeah. And Chris Paul, possibly the best um, point guard defender in the league. He defends. Yeah, I would say that's. I've seen, you accurate, know, yeah. you've seen him shut down James Harden, Russell Westbrook. And not many people can do that. No, nope. let's and, put it that um, way. So that's a defensive force to uh, be reckoned with. Obviously, as well, Chris Paul wouldn't have to handle the ball all the time because mm. Joe Keem Noah. He, he, would, he would sort that out. And Kawhi Leonard would be fantastic. Kawhi Leonard is just Kawhi Leonard, isn't he? He's it, really? a two-way player. He can, the thing is with Kawhi, he can play with any team, can't he? He can yeah. go to any team. You could put him in better. the sixes and he'd... And he'd uh, make them better. And he'd, well, anyway, I'll come make the sixes better. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's past the point. <laughs> um, okay, then. Thanks for joining us at episode 17 of uh, UK NBA. And we're back sooner than you think because what are we doing on Friday? We're going to do the... Uh, Ultimate beatdown is what it basically is, where Miami Heat will lay down the raw, raw law against Get the you Cavaliers. First. Before you talk trash, <laughs> actually articulate it. So, okay, uh, so that's going to be filmed on Friday and uploaded sometime over the weekend. Yeah. Uh, uh, follow us on Twitter, that's coming up now. I was filming, so I'm like, touching it. <laughs> uh, like, lo- like us on Facebook, and uh, oh, and uh, just a shout out for uh, your news hub articles as well. Get yeah, the news hub articles. Uh, what's the latest one you've written about? Um, my last one I did was about Wesley Matthews, and probably talked about that last time. Yeah, we've we? still we've done that one. Yeah, put, yeah, we've done that one, but. We've, there will, con- will be plenty there will be more up. content so it's a check out for that um, don't forget to give us a subscribe and a like and your comments and comments on the bottom and uh, yeah also put in your uh, fantasy yeah. three also, and um, also whoa whoa, whoa, whoa don't excuse see. me another shout out for um, global sports commentator for all your comments this week thank you very much um, keep watching them and I'd love yeah. to see your comments on what the your big three yeah we'd love to see be. that and um yeah, maybe one day we could have a global sports commentator, UK NBA mashup. Mix, yeah. Uh, cheers. <laughs> Take care, everyone, and uh, see you then. See you soon.